Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are going to have a throwback shave, I guess you could say for me, because the product that I'm using today is none only than Sterling Satsuma. And uh, we had the matching splash. This is a very simple scent from what I can tell, it's basically Satsuma and some Oriental spices. And uh, the scent is very nice for citrus flavor. Um, I really like citrus flavors, especially this time of the year during the summer. Um, what we're also going to be using today is the Blackland Signature Series brush. I uh, actually have the soap blooming right now. And I want to use this brush and it's going to be a face, well, technically a head lather off of the puck because this is what I'm going to use when I'm on the road versus bringing a bowl and all of that stuff with me. It's a lot easier just to load off the puck. And uh, the razor for today is going to be the Blackland Blackbird Open Comb in the Stainless. And this is my first time using this razor. It's going to be loaded with the Persona Lab Blue. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this shave started. Get the uh, bloom water off the puck. And uh, get into this shave. I hope everybody's doing good. Figured I'd use some of the bloom water since I don't use pre-shaves. This will be my pre-shave and let me tell you I think I kind of miss using Sterling because they have an excellent product. I've never been disappointed with them and I kind of really forgot how much I enjoy Sterling soaps. So, for not using it in the last two years, I kind of want to say I kind of ne neglected Sterling because they was actually the first soap that I uh, ever started with. And I was never disappointed with the performance of their soaps, the, the scent of their soaps. I just, I had... I don't know, a couple sample pucks, and I used them for a couple weeks, maybe even a couple months. And then I started buying into, you know, other soap makers and stuff like that. It kind of put Sterling on a back burner, which uh, I don't think I should have done because they have fantastic soaps. I really like the Satsuma. Uh, I have the Lime. And it just doesn't seem to be as bold as the Satsuma. Um, but I haven't used the soap yet. So just off of the puck, it just doesn't seem as nice or as strong, I should say. But you never know once you get it off of the puck, it might be just as nice as the Satsuma. So we're going to give this, I don't know, maybe about a 20, 30 second load. And let's see how good we do. Normally I don't load, load off the puck. I will bowl lather. But since this is going to be one of the soaps that I bring on the road, like I said, it's easier to face lather and getting a pretty decent load. This is a little 23 millimeter brush, so I don't expect it to uh, pick up tons of soap, but hopefully we get a good load on here and a good amount to shave with. I do have other synthetic knots, 
that I could have used that's a little bit bigger, but this is what I'm gonna bring on the road, so I figured why not give it a shot today and uh, see how this brush performs. I'm pretty sure that the razor is gonna perform good because I have the uh, Blackberry Titanium and it is a very, very good performing razor. So, all right, so let's get into the lather and get the shave kicking. Oh, and I tell you what, boy, I can smell my bathroom filling up with the smell of this soap, which is fantastic. I love the smell. It's got a nice strong scent. Gonna have to add a little bit more water to this. And I'm actually getting a better lather than I did with the uh, the Great Bear. But like I said, that, that day, I uh, was my first experience with it. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to lather a lot better. It was more or less probably my fault than anything. I got to say, this is... Very good lathering day. I am definitely liking this. I think I need a little bit more moisture. Try not to get this running into my eyes. But I think we are almost there. Got the beard trimmed. Uh day before yesterday. And I was gonna do this video then, but the young lady who trimmed my beard decided to do a little straight razor, not on the head, but she ended up slicing my ear pretty well and giving me some razor burn on my neck. So I wanted to let that heal up. I still got the cut on the ear and more than likely, I will probably never go to them again, unless I get a different barber. Well, very nice, very nice lather, very nice. I'd like to kick myself in the ass for not using Sterling soaps for such a long time. All right, let's get into it. This is actually the first time I'm using an open comb razor too. I figured they were a little too aggressive for me because I don't like a super aggressive blade or, or I should say a super aggressive razor or a uh, lot of blade feel, but I wanted to give one a try. And I was able to pick this razor up at a good price. Can't believe I left my water running, so I apologize if you could hear it in the background. And actually, we are working with about four days worth of growth. So it is a little, little heavier growth than what I'm used to shaving with. But I tell you what. It is taking it down without a problem. Now this razor, in my opinion, is significantly heavier than 
the titanium version. I never really uh, weighed them out to see what the exact weight difference was. So that information I can't give you. But what I'll probably do is after this video, I'll probably uh, go and uh, weigh them out and actually get how many grams difference it is between this razor and the titanium. I believe this one is supposed to weigh in at 94 grams, but we'll see. Now this is the ear here that the young lady decided to almost slice off. I think she was just being a little, uh, little uncareful, I guess you could say, a little reckless. And I knew it instantly. As soon as she cut me, I was like, ah. And then within seconds, there was a uh, blood flow. So. I think I got my camera positioned just a little bit too close. See if I can reposition this. Slide it just a little bit further back. Hope that's a little bit better. Oh, look at that. Got me a battle wound. Oh, well. All right. Let's get the second pass on. Get a, get a lather kicking. I did not even feel that nick. But it's all good. I don't care. Trying to be very delicate on the back of my head only because of the razor burn. I don't want to aggravate it anymore. Let's get into pass number two. This is going to be obviously against the grain. This is definitely more aggressive than what I'm used to. So excuse me if I'm going a little bit slow. I apologize. I just don't feel like scalping myself. Already obtaining one neck. Obviously, user error. But I gotta say, with this, uh, this little black one brush it's definitely doing the job so for the 23 millimeter synthetic knot 
I'm going to say it's performing pretty well. So is the soap. And so is the razor. I can say I'm definitely getting lots of feedback. Definitely getting a good shave today. <clears throat> I've been trying to decide what razor I'm going to bring on the road with me. And I believe... It's going to be in contentions between my Carve Overlander and this razor right here. Be very gentle right there. Don't want to open that neck up anymore. All right, let's check it out so far. Ooh, boy, nice and smooth. Gonna have to polish up a couple little areas. But so far, I am very satisfied. Very, very satisfied. All right, we're gonna get down to the Third and final pass. Which is going to be the fine tuna. Not really worried about a good thick lather. Just trying to get a slick basis on here for this pass. It's going to be very light. Just to kind of take off a couple little shots now the wife actually gave this scent which I'm very surprised because my wife really doesn't like oranges she likes to eat oranges but she doesn't like the uh, artificial oranges so when she smelled this and she actually said she liked it I was very surprised I was like whoa I was like, okay, I must have a winner here. Because I know she gave a couple of my other sterling soaps the thumbs up. And I'm not going to lie. I don't even remember which ones I had with the exception of the executive man. I think I had one of their cherry. I think it was black cherry. Um, I'm not gonna lie, right now I'm kind of surprised. I am getting lots of feedback. But With feeling it, it's about as smooth as you can ask for. I mean, BBS smooth.
right, and that's gonna be a wrap for the, the shave. Gonna get a quick rinse. And I got so much soap left on my head, I could have probably just wet it. It went with a pass with just a residual slickness. Residual soap off and get into the post shave. Oh, feels very good, very, very good. All right, I'm gonna use a different towel, kind of dry myself up a little bit. Give it a good old shake. See what we got. Let's see if we got any irritation. We got a little bit of a sting. It's a it's a good sting though, if I if I had to say. I know nobody has seen me do a face shave yet, but Ain't really much to handle my face shaves. Obviously, you can tell I got a beard, so it's just a little under the neck. Fantastic, fantastic. Gonna smell like an orange today. Well, well correction on that. Gonna smell like a Satsuma. All right. So. The brush, Blackland Signature, 23 millimeter synthetic knot, performed very well today. I was very surprised. I actually got a better lather on my head and I'm bleeding, but that's okay. Uh, I actually got a better lather on my head today with this knot than I did with my Mojo and the B11, but there could have been a bunch of different reasons why that happened. I'll figure it out uh, and see what I got to do to perfect that. Obviously, y'all done seen it. Today's soap was Satsuma with the matching splash, and the razor was the Open Comb Blackbird with the Persona Lab Blue Blade. So, I hope everybody has a great day. I hope y'all enjoyed this shave. Check down in the link below. I'll put a link to all the products that I use today. Even if they're not available, I'm pretty sure they will become available sooner or later. And uh, also check out the link to my St. Baldrick's page, which is a childhood cancer research uh, fundraiser page. And uh, support if you can. If you can't, I understand. But it's appreciative if you can because every penny counts when it comes to childhood cancer research. So hope everyone has a great day and I will holla at y'all later.